Hello everybody, happy Labor Day weekend. It's not the weekend though, it's Monday. It's everybody's day off, I guess. Um, happy Labor Day, I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. I hope you had a fun weekend. My weekend was spent doing midterms and candy worked. So listen, hashtag struggle bus, hashtag mom life it just is what it is but we did have a good weekend i mean we spent a lot of time with the kids and right now on this wonderful monday since candy doesn't have work the next two days we were able to go and we found a special present for candy and right now she's busting it in breaking it in you see that she's got the virtual reality going um this was something we've been saving up for for a really long time. And when we went to go buy it, we couldn't find it. So we were finally able to hunt one down. She is so happy. She's in there just doing her thing. The kids are just itching to get on it, but we have a rule in our house. When you get a new toy for 24 hours, it is your toy. And I think she might break early because the kids are like, we wanna play, we wanna play. And I'm like, guys, it's not yours, it's mama's. She just, she's so happy. You gotta give it to her. But, um, so that's what we've been doing today. We ran and we found that. Um, we had to drive. Has anybody else struggled with trying to find electronic products during this time in our lives? It is horrible. Um, we really, we had to do a road trip for this one. So, but it was all good. And just kind of been relaxing for the day. Like I said, I had midterms all weekend. My brain is fried, like unbelievably fried. I'm coming at you at 5.20 at night <laughs> because this is when I've decided to throw dinner together. Um, tonight we are making chicken fried rice. Now this is a recipe that I found from natashaskitchen.com, but I have completely messed with it. I didn't like her measurements, so I did my own. Um, I have my skillet heating up here because we're going to get ready to fry up some chicken. But I'm going to go through and I'm going to tell you basically what I'm working with today and give you a rundown of what we're doing. Okay, so we have one pound of chicken breast. You can use pretty much any chicken you want to. Usually I use chicken thighs, like boneless, skinless chicken thighs, but I didn't have any of those. I only had the breasts left. I haven't been able to do a meat market run yet. So that's what I had in the freezer. Um, and it was just like three small chicken breasts that I went ahead and cut up into little bite-sized pizzas. And I'm gonna fry those up. Um, I've got a half a cup of green onion sitting here. I have four tablespoons of soy sauce. I have two teaspoons of sesame oil. We have a half a teaspoon of salt and then a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. Basically, we're gonna be using the salt and pepper to season the chicken. I'm gonna throw that in now. Just get that all over the chicken then. Um, we've got four large eggs that we mix together really well, beat them up really well. I've got 16 ounces of peas and carrots. Um, I'm using off-brand, like it's peas and carrots that I found at my local Boyer's Market. We have tried the peas and carrots from other, not all peas and carrots are the same, people. So, if you go and make this and it just tastes a little off, use a different brand. Use a different brand of the peas and carrots because it is a, a bit potent too, I will give it that one. Um, and then I've got about six cups of rice sitting here that I have already cooked and cooled. Um, and I'm getting ready, like I said, I'm heating up the pan and I'm getting ready to add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil so that I can get this chicken fried up. Get that nice and hot. And I'm gonna bring you guys in here so you can see the whole cooking process. I promise I won't forget today. Um, let me take a sip of coffee because it is, listen, this weekend has been tough. Struggle bus weekend. There we go. Okay, let's get you guys in here. Um, so all I'm doing right now is, again, heating up the skillet. 
skillet and I put the salt and pepper on top of my little chicken bites here and I'm just mixing it together and I really feel like this might actually be hot enough a little sizzle going on and you're just going to spread it out evenly on the bottom of the pan and you want to make sure that your heat is on like a medium high heat because you're going to leave this sit for probably about three to five minutes um, on one side and then we'll flip it and go to the other side. Looks like we got a good sear going on so I'm going to go ahead and start mixing it around. Oh yeah. It cooks pretty fast because they're all little tiny pieces. And it's not that much. We're using about a pound. And um, so it's really, it's not a crazy amount of chicken. When I make big batches of this, then I have to cook it a little longer. Um, but tonight we're not doing a big batch. We're just doing to eat for dinner for tonight. And that's all. wash that bowl before I put the chicken back in it anybody's gonna see this and say oh my gosh you're in the same bowl no so and then you just take a wet cloth and wipe out the bottom just real fast and we're gonna put a little more olive oil in here okay we're gonna get that mixed around and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fry up the eggs and the eggs cook super, super fast, so you don't wanna walk away from them. Um, and we're just cooking the eggs until they're not wet anymore. Okay. Again, we're using four large eggs that I went ahead and beat really well together. And this is such like a quick meal that comes together. This is a perfect uh, weekday or weeknight meal, school night meal. Um, you know, I've had the kids at practice. I've been working all day. Um, I just need something quick to throw at them. This is perfect. It's, you've got your meat, your meat, your starch from your rice. You've got vegetables from your peas and carrots, protein from your eggs and chicken, like complete meal. And it reheats really, really well. So if you make a large batch of this and you want to take some to work the next day, you want to eat it as leftovers, absolutely. Perfect reheat. And look at that. Under two minutes and the eggs are pretty much done. Like I said, you just want to cook them until they're not wet anymore. All right, and we're going to go ahead and put those right on top of the chicken. And leave those off to the side. And just a little more olive oil. So another one to two tablespoons. Because now we're going to be frying up that rice. Get that mixed in there good. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my rice to the pan. I wasn't sure if I was gonna add all of it at one time. But I think we will. So pretty much you leave the rice sitting here for about two minutes without touching it. You just leave it sit there so it gets a good fry on that bottom of it. 
Okay, after one to two minutes, you want to go ahead and give it a good stir. And I would say two minutes, not the one minute. <laughs> And I'm going to let that go for another one to two minutes, most likely two minutes. And let it do its thing. All right, we're going to go ahead and give that another stir. Okay. And now we're going to start adding the good stuff to the rice. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my 16 ounces of frozen peas and carrots. And I'm gonna get that all mixed in. Listen, if you have children that are picky and they say, oh, I don't like peas and carrots, I don't like vegetables. Once you put soy sauce on top of it and tell them it's Chinese food, they'll eat anything. I swear. <laughs> And I did make sure to thaw the peas and carrots. These are not like completely frozen. They were thawed. Um, I just let them sit out for about an hour before I started cooking, so. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat down just a little bit, so about medium. And I'm gonna start adding in some of my other ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add in our green onions. Again, I'm using a half, a half a cup of green onions or scallions, if that's what you wanna call them. And we'll mix that in. Again, I'm using four tablespoons of soy sauce. And really, the, the soy sauce is to your taste. So if you want a little more, go for it. If you want a little less, go for it. And then I'm also going to add two teaspoons of sesame oil. And we'll give that another good mix. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring my chicken and my egg back in. I'm gonna add it back to the pan and get it all well blended. This part, it's almost done. Your meal is almost done and we've been here under 30 minutes. Um, pretty much what I'm doing right now is I'm just making sure everything is heated thoroughly. I'm making sure to break up the egg and just getting everything mixed very well. But other than that, your dinner is done. Under 30 minutes, one pan meal. Like, can it get any easier? <laughs> and I do have a little bit of green onion also off to the side that I'll go ahead and I'll sprinkle on top as just a little garnish. But guys, your dinner is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that heat off. Add my little extra green onion there. And we are done. There you are. Chicken fried rice, 30 minutes, one pan. Perfect, that's what we need. That is absolutely what we need. Again, I hope you guys had an amazing Labor Day weekend. I hope you actually got some time to spend with your family. Um, the rest of the night is going to be, it's early. It's, it's not even six o'clock yet. We don't have any practices or anything. I just needed a break. <laughs> Um, the rest of the night is going to be basically spent making sure the kids are getting their showers done, making sure they're ready for school in the morning. It's homeschool until Thursday, so getting all of that ready and probably playing a little VR. 
get in there, knock it out. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Um, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, do all of the things. Definitely come back next time. And guys, just have a great night. Go enjoy your family. Bye, guys.